Before we get started today, I do, I just have one thing I want to get off my chest, and it's the fact that this, this shirt, it, it's a bit tight. It kind of shrunk in the wash, and you know, it, I, I just had to address it because it's, it, it's really, you know, it's a bit, it's kind of bothering me. You know, I'm not a fan, I mean, I'm a fan of, you know, Def Leppard fan, but the shirt, not a fan. Like, you know, the, the shirt though, not, not what's on the shirt. I'm a fan of the shirt, but I'm not a fan of the shirt. Let's just get started. What's up guys, welcome back. My name's Shreds, here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today we're talking all about verified fan presale codes. How does it work? How does Ticketmaster get the verified fan presale codes from their magical algorithm into the hands of the consumer? How does it work? So, we got three main things we need to talk about. One, what is a Ticketmaster verified fan presale and how does it work? Number two, we're gonna talk about how you actually go about signing up and we're gonna go through an example of exactly what you need to do to sign up for a verified fan presale. Lastly, number three, we're gonna talk about three main tips on how to make sure you give yourself the best chances of actually getting one of those verified fan presale codes so that you can go ahead and see that event. I've laid out these three different sections below so you can go ahead and check out the timestamps so you can jump ahead to where you need to go. Other than that though, strap in, it's gonna be a good one because we're gonna learn all about verified fan presale codes. Let's get started. All right, welcome. First off, what is a Ticketmaster verified fan Presale. Ticketmaster introduced the Verified Fan program way back in 2017 with the intention of getting tickets in the hands of actual fans and not in the hands of brokers and bots. Being Ticketmaster, they released it with all the hoopla and fanfare that they possibly could. They introduced it with a few big events and they started rolling out smaller events. And now everybody and anybody who wants can go ahead and get themselves a Ticketmaster Verified Fan presale. Any artist, any event, anything you think of, they're all eligible if they so choose. Essentially, Ticketmaster created an algorithm that will take all the data of all the individuals who are going ahead and trying to apply to get these verified fan presale codes, churn it all together, and pump out with a result. Yes or no. Yes, you're gonna go ahead and get those great tickets, or no, unfortunately, you're gonna be put on the wait list and you won't be getting anything. <laughs> No. Ticketmaster designed it so that the algorithm would get smarter over time as it got more data, as it kind of, you know, started to filter in accounts which were good, accounts which were bad, and being able to kind of identify which fans were the true fans who were going to get those presale codes. Again, though, because there's only a limited supply of tickets available to each concert and event, there's only so many codes that can be given out. If they try and give out more codes than the amount of people who are eligible to go ahead and buy these tickets, you'll create a system where people will be angry at the first level where they don't get a code, and then they'll be even more furious if they get a code and then they can't even go in and buy those tickets. Therefore, Ticketmaster being the smart organization that they are created the wait list whereby people who didn't actually get the codes initially may eventually get filtered in some additional codes depending on how many people are actually buying those tickets. So some of the key main benefits of the Ticketmaster Verified Fan Program is that one, it helps get tickets into the hands of fans. So if you are someone who is lucky enough to actually go ahead and receive a Verified Fan presale code, consider yourself very lucky. Ticketmaster considers you an excellent true fan. And two, it likely means you'll be able to get tickets at face value in front of everybody else. Because one, you're going to be going in with a limited amount of people who are also buying tickets in the presale. And two, you're going to be getting them at generally a better price than what it will be on the open market once they are on general sale. Ticketmaster is very much a fan of the dynamic ticket pricing model and they will go ahead and adjust prices over time depending on how they see the event selling. So if they find the event is selling excellently well, they might go ahead and start increasing the prices overall and that will make it more expensive for those buying tickets on the general sale. But if you're in the verified fan pre-sale, you'll be getting in at those rock bottom prices. So it gives you the best chance to get tickets at face value and have the most amount of fun. So you know all about the Ticketmaster verified fan pre-sale. But how do you actually go ahead and sign up? Well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk through an example of how to actually do that. We got some Billie Eilish going on right now, so we're gonna take a look at her verified fan presale, how to go ahead and find it, how to go ahead and sign up, all the good details, and we're gonna do it all right now. So when an event gets announced that it's gonna have a Ticketmaster verified fan presale associated with it, there are a few different ways of actually going ahead and finding out where to get the information to go and sign up for this program. One, the artist's website, or two, on Ticketmaster itself, they will generally put up a link where you can go ahead and actually go ahead and sign up for the presale. So on Ticketmaster here, you can already see right at the top, we know that Billie Eilish is going on tour. We got the big massive banner right in front of us and we could go ahead and click on that. But instead, we're gonna go through the, the long way just to make sure you all know all the individual steps. So first off, search for the artist that you want to go see. 
Billie Eilish. Here we go. Fantastic. And look at that. A huge, massive banner is waiting for us right at the top, telling us to go register for the Ticketmaster Verified Fan Presale. As you can see, there is a deadline for the Verified Fan Presale registration. And this is the case with all other Verified Fan Presales. They will generally close about two to three days prior to when the pre-sale takes place so that Ticketmaster has enough time to go ahead, process all of the requests and determine who's gonna get a code and who will not. Billie Eilish, we can see here, it ends on Sunday, May 23rd at 11.59 p.m. PST. So once you have the link, whether you find it on Ticketmaster, whether you find it on the artist website, whether you find it across Google, find it on one of the other forums, once you get the link, go ahead and hit that button immediately. And what it'll do, it'll take you to a landing page. So on this landing page, the first thing you're gonna see, again, you're gonna see the artist, who they're talking about, or the event that's gonna go on that's following this verified fan presale. And then you need to go ahead and start doing the registration process. So step one from here is actually going in and signing into your Ticketmaster account. So if you do not yet have a Ticketmaster account, you got yourself a problem, that's gonna be a roadblock. There is no other way around this. You do require a Ticketmaster account. Go ahead, sign up, and then come back to the stage, and we're gonna go ahead and sign in to register for this preset. Go ahead, click the big blue button, and then sign in. Now, once you've signed in, you just need to go through the steps of actually verifying the information that's there, you know, your name, your email address, your phone number, and just making sure it all lines up. You don't wanna have any errors here, so again, make sure you pay extra attention to the details that are being populated. The last one you need to put in is your zip or postal code. Once you've filled in all your information there, you're kinda, you're like 90% of the way there. 90%, but the last 10%, this is the most fun part. You then gotta go in and select your show. This is where the magic really starts to happen. As you can see in this situation, we could only select one show. If there were multiple shows that you could select, there would be multiple drop-down options. Where it says here, select show, it would be select show number one, number two, number three. Generally, you'll only get to be able to pick for one show, but sometimes, depending on the event, you may be able to pick two or three. Really depends on the actual artist and event that's being put on through the pre-sale. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and pick my show. I'm closest to Toronto, so I'm going to go ahead and select that Toronto show. Last thing here, there are a few different checkboxes that are available to you. You don't need to select these. I generally will avoid them because I don't need any more spam than I already get. But if you did want to sign up for her email lists, you can go ahead and do that. Same thing if you want to join the Live Nation list that gets sent out or any other kind of verified fan program information. If you want to get updates for new ones, you can go ahead and select all those boxes. So if you want, you can select them all, you can select one, you can select two, you can select none of them, it doesn't really matter. This has no impact on whether you're gonna be able to get that pre-sale code. Once you've selected your show, determine which checkboxes you do or don't wanna select, you're gonna hit that big blue button. Once you've selected this button, you're not quite there. You're like 98% done. But the last thing you gotta do now is you gotta request your one-time code. Basically, this is Ticketmaster's two-factor authentication. Depending on the phone number or mobile number that you put into your Ticketmaster Verified Fan pre-sale registration, that's the number that's gonna show up for this two-factor authentication. For the authentication, you can either get a text or a phone call. Up to you, doesn't really matter. They both work the same way. There is no benefit to picking one over the other. If you're someone like my sister who still doesn't actually receive text messages because her phone plan is so old that it, it would cost her, which is kind of mind boggling when you think about it, but it's besides the point, you can go ahead and get a call option. Otherwise, texting option is there for you. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Should be pretty quick. Generally, you know, 10, 15 seconds. There it is. Type that in. And we are now gonna hit confirm. Once we hit this button, that's it. That's all. You've done everything you possibly can to sign up for the Verified Fan pre-sale. So what's what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna do it, we're gonna hit that button. We're gonna do it right now. Ready, ready, three, two, one. Bam, that's it, that's it, that's all. You've done it, congratulations. You have just signed up for the Verified Fan pre-sale. Now, I do wanna mention a few things here. One, once you've actually completed this registration, like you'll see here, you get a registration complete form. Congratulations, fantastic, wonderful, excellent. However, I do need to mention, just because you've completed this does not mean you are now guaranteed 
the ability to go ahead and actually get a verified fan presale code. It's still up to Ticketmaster to now determine who is going to get a code and who is not. So it's really just a matter of waiting at this point. Once you've got to the stage, you'll also get an email confirming your registration. So you can again, see another confirmation, keep that with you to know that you've actually done it all successfully. And then two, you're going to find out when you're going to get information on whether you are successful in getting your verified fan presale code. So in this case, on the evening of Tuesday, May 25th, that's when you're going to find out via email whether you were successful in one, being eligible to go ahead and get that pre-sale code, or two, unfortunately being put on the wait list. If you're on the wait list, generally that means you're not going to get anything, so don't be expecting anything out of that. But if you are successful in getting a verified fan pre-sale code, you're going to get that congratulations, you're a true fan, you did it, you won, you're the best person ever, and you're going to get a pre-sale code. Pre-sale codes will then come the following day in the morning, generally about an hour or two before the event will go on sale. So you will have tons of time to go ahead, prepare, plan, get ready, because you're going to get the pre-sale code and you're also going to get a specific URL that you do need to type in so you can go ahead and actually buy those tickets. Now, you know all about the Verified Fan Pre-sale. You know exactly how to register for the Verified Fan Pre-sale. You've actually registered now for the Verified Fan Pre-sale. But we got to talk about a few more things, a few things that can actually help improve your odds in being able to successfully get those presale codes. I got three of them for you, so let's get going. Number one, when you sign up for a verified fan presale, you want to be using an account that actually has activity in it and not just a brand new account. If you use a brand new account, this is usually flag number one for Ticketmaster to say, hey, this potentially could be a bot or broker account because there's no activity on it. It was just created yesterday, it's just created today, it's just created five minutes before this person registered for the presale. I don't think this person's gonna be, you know, our best true fan for this for this individual. So I think we're gonna we might have to, you know, push them off to the side, push them onto the wait list, because they're not gonna be good enough for us. The reason you want to use an account that has activity on it, whether it's, you know, purchasing other tickets, selling other tickets, anything of the sort, basically you're giving Ticketmaster proof that one, you are a true individual who is looking to, you know, go ahead, attend different events, attend different concerts. You have shown a history of attending different concerts. For someone that Ticketmaster could actually trust to say, hey, if you're buying these tickets, there's a better chance that you're actually gonna go ahead and use these tickets to attend that event. So if you're using a brand new account, you don't have any history at all. Ticketmaster doesn't know you from a hole in the wall and Ticketmaster is giving no codes to no holes in no walls. Obviously, this isn't always possible though, especially if you're brand new to Ticketmaster, you've never bought concert tickets before in your life then unfortunately, this is the only option you have. You gotta use a new account. That's not to say you won't get verified through the presale program. However, it is very unlikely, unfortunately, if you do have a brand new account. So if you can use one that does have activity, gives yourself a better chance when going ahead and getting those tickets. Second big tip, don't apply multiple times. Yes, the program does allow you to go ahead, submit a second or third attempt. If you do go through the process and you realize, oh, I wanna to go to a different date, or I wanna to go to a different show, or I wanna use a different phone number, whatever the case may be, all these options are there for you. You can go ahead and make a submission, but every time you do make a submission, that will be the one that Ticketmaster looks at, punching everything through the algorithm, determining who's gonna get those codes and who is not. If you are applying multiple times, it's not necessarily a problem per se, but if you do apply multiple times, one, you could run into the risk of applying for the wrong show and then not being able to buy the show that you actually want, or two, you could end up potentially getting your account flagged as being a bot or broker. The reason I mentioned this, if it were a bot account, it's possible that bot accounts, they would be signing up multiple times just because they're doing so many mass signups. It's possible there could be issues in that situation. So if Ticketmaster sees, you know, an account was signing up multiple times right after one after the other after the other in quick succession, it doesn't lead the algorithm to think that you are, you know, a true human being because you're, you're, you're doing something that's a bit too crazy. It doesn't make any sense. I know, I know, I know some people, they just can't help themselves. They're too excited. They hit the button, then they hit button again. Like, oh, I want to do it again. That was so much fun. I want to do it again and again. And then you realize that they should have just, you know, just, just stopped at, at one, two maybe, but definitely not three, you know, just. Just keep in mind, keep your expectations tempered. Try and keep your enthusiasm, you know, just, just hold it just a little bit. Wait until you get that pre-sale code, then go ahead, be super duper excited. Again, just try, you know, keep things down to a minimum, just apply the one time, but pay attention to when you are applying so that you don't run into any problems going forward. And number three, the best tip that I have for you, use multiple devices when you are signing up for pre-sale access. What do I mean? If you are going ahead and signing up 
for the presale, and you're going to use your computer to sign up for the actual presale. That's great. That's fantastic. That's so good. But then if you also have a sibling in the house, a parent who's there, someone else who also has a Ticketmaster account, you can go ahead and ask them to sign up as well to give yourself even better chances of getting those tickets. Remember, there's only a certain number of codes that are available to all the masses, and the more people you have signing up to actually go ahead and get tickets for you, the better your odds will be. With that being said, if you have multiple people signing up for these pre-sales with their own individual accounts. That's great, but something that you can do to make it even better, a bonus tip, if you will, when multiple people are signing up for the pre-sale, also have them use their own internet connection, their own IP address. You don't want everyone to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Why do I say that? Again, think back to what it would be like if you were a bot or a broker. If you were a bot, you would have all these signups happen all at the same time using the same IP address, using the same internet connection, and Ticketmaster would say, hey, we have hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of signups happening all from this one local IP. I don't like the look of this. I think this IP is being run by a bot or a broker. Let's ban all of these accounts and don't give any codes to them whatsoever. That's not to say if two or three people all use the same Wi-Fi network or you end up going to the library using public Wi-Fi, that's fine. However, if you want to give yourself the best, best, best possible odds at all, you want to get different devices to be used and using different accounts using different internet access points. Keep everything different, keep everything separated, keep everything apart. Give yourself the best possible chances that you can to go ahead and get those verified fan presale codes. And that's it. That's all you need to know. You now know everything there is on how to go ahead and sign up for a verified fan presale. If you guys are signing up for presales, let me know down below which events you guys are signing up for. I'm always curious to see what you guys are interested in, what you guys want to attend, what you are attending. I want to know all of it. So let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below as well. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming out every single week. And see you guys next time.